So here we are, Kevin and Kevin, uh, Weber State basketball. So, first off, we've got to congratulate Weber State football team on that big win in the snow. Biggest win in Weber State school, Weber State athletic history. So far. So, so, good luck to them back at James Madison. So, back to the basketball team here. It's another tune-up game. There's a third one, which we're not big fans of them. I'm not. No, they got wet. way too many. Way too many. So, this team is young. They're struggling to score. They're playing decent defense. They're rebounding, but they cannot put the ball in the hole. No, they're, they're shooting what? I, I would guess about 30% for the season so far. Well, again, free throw shooting. The big guy shot well. Harding has shot great. Fantastic. You take Harding out of the equation, this team can go. They missed six layups against Utah. They held Utah to 60 points. I mean, you hold a, a team like that to 60 points, you, you, you should win that game. Should have. Should have. They cannot, you know, and they're, it's just, they're tight. That's all. They're tight because these are easy shots. I mean, we know these guys can play. Mm -hmm. So this young, great athletic team, you know, let's get ready to rumble and let's see what they got. We'll be all right on this. So here we go. We just say basketball. Now the starting lineup for tonight's game, KJ Cunningham, Ken Davis, Cody John, Jerry Harding, and uh, Michael Kozak. So they're going with, with the smallest of the big men Already right and right with right uh, four guards. So it's tradition to stand up. Oh, 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 get your heart hat on, Deb. Don't forget your heart hat. Go ahead, Kozak on the, is going to jump center. So we got Michael Kozak, Cody John, KJ Cunningham, Derek Harding, and Davis. We were controls the tip. Cunningham starting. I remember when uh, back in the Neil McCarthy days when Bruce Collins used to jump center for Weaver oh, State. The only guard in the nation who jumped center for the team. That's a great story. What a player. 4 3. Bang! Hey, Hi, hey, by the way, for you NBA scouts, this is for you NBA scouts. Too short? You seen the way he elevates on the jump shot? You ever seen anybody elevate on a jump shot like that? It's unbelievable how high in the air he is on a jump shot. Nice floater in the lane. So they're from, uh, it's another D2 school. It's from interesting. Like, uh, Hunt, California. The phase to, is playing man-to-man -man defense against the Wildcats. They look like they got some quick players. Cody. They're carding out there for another three. Back-to-back, -back, boom. Nothing but net. Whoa. Is that good? I mean, bang, bang. I'm telling you. Well, yellow bag, plus, he has you. A quick, plus he has a quick release. Yeah, and we know, and it, and we know how he can go with the left and the right. We know how he can slash. And Apparently he, the first one, one of them was only a two because it's five to, the score is five oh, to the two. the first one was a two, huh? Well, I hope these referees are a lot better than what they were at the football game. Football game wasn't, well, I've never seen a, a warning flag on the bench. Yeah, warning flag on the bench. That's a call I've never seen in the football. So, some people around here got mad at me because I told the referees before the game, two games ago, I was standing around with a lot of the athletic department, whatever, and I said, there's two things you have to be to be a referee in uh, big sky football. Blind in one eye and can't see out the other, you know, and you can't say that. And I said, well, I just did. Well, in basketball, you got three blind mice. Okay. Harding again. Jerry with the Harding left. How smooth. Uh, I'm telling you. Good move. Seven. I'm telling you. Harding has all seven, seven of I'm Weaver State's you, points. You guys can say whatever you want. He's tiny Nate Archibald. I'm telling you. That's, I'm old enough to remember Archibald. He's that good. He really is that good. People don't want to hear it from me on uh, the fact that I think he's further advanced than Damian Lillard was on this floor. Now, he's a four-year starter. There's a steal. Cam Davis. Transfer, transfer from Pittsburgh. Pittsburgh. That's a walk. Did it get him? Oh, he got a foul first. He got, he got the out. foul was first. The foul was first. Did not or at good. least the referees thought it was first. He's At times, he's looked great. Other times, he's looked poor. 
You know, we know he's got talent. He does talent. You don't start at the University of Pittsburgh if you don't have talent. He was a he was a started most of the year his freshman year at Pitt. Yeah, and we know he's talented. He's a I mean they he transferred because they had a coaching change. Yeah. This is there we go. Free throw through shooting has been horrible. You take the Alta by the Sea door out of the free throw shooting and Harding. Got we're, talking maybe, we're, we're talking maybe 15% for the season. I mean, it's that bad yeah, if you take those is. two out. By the way, our big guy, you know, people say stroke. You ever seen it? You, what a stroke on free throws, huh? So, I noticed he hasn't started the last three games. There we go. Harding with the steal. I know that's uh, Davis. Ken Davis. Harding lays it up with the left. Good. <laughs> Ten right. points for the Wet Wildcats. Eight of those, nine of those have come from Harding. I told Randy the other day, I said, cut him loose, let's go 40 a game. So, they play at BYU, which they've never won in the history of the school. They've never won a game at BYU. They finally won one in Provo, yeah, or in Utah it. Valley. Yeah, first in history. But think about this. Think about the teams over the years at BYU. We're talking a long time. Oh, yeah. Great teams. Soldier, Big Pen, Nemar, Collins. And we've never won down there. You know why? You want to know my opinion why? Well, you'd probably say it's the refs. I yes. think it's a little bit more they than cheat. that. But... <laughs> First game in BYU, I can't remember if it was before. I think it was after the Sojourner era. But it was uh, Weber should have won that game. BYU won it on a last second 45 foot desperation shot. That's the first game in the Marriott. And they lost by right? one. That was, I don't know if it was the first game in Marriott Center history. That I don't know. No, first game Weaver played in Weaver the Marriott. played in the Marriott. And in fact, it was the first time Weaver Hardy played in three. Provo. Oh, rather, comes out with the rebound. Pop it up there, Cunningham. Drive to the hoop, way up. Nothing. Got his own rebound. Turned it over. So. Well, he didn't really turn it over. He never really had the rebound. He fought for it and almost had it, but he yeah, didn't really have ball. the rebound. Yeah. So, again, Weber has turned the ball over. They can't make a free throw. Already can. There's a push. Davis battling inside. Kozak with the steal. Set up by Davis, actually. The steal was set up by Davis's defense. Hardy, what a pass. What a pass to the corner. Oh, what a pass by Hardy, huh? Tell, what, me now that pass. One, Tell me he can't pass. Now, again, Harding, one of the things that they said about Harding is he needs more assists. That was a perfect pass, but to get the assist, you got to score. You got to make the, the, the guy has to make the basket. Harding had the pass, but, he, but uh, Cunningham missed the shot. So just so you know, people that are turning into uh, Weber State Athletics for the first time, whatever, Big Sky Basketball for the first time, you literally need shoulder pads in Big Sky Basketball. The style that Randy Lay plays, Big Sky Basketball is a dog fight. And I mean a dog fight. You might as well wear pads. That's the style, and Randy Ray's style. He wants to win 63 to 62 every year. And so... It's a physical brand of basketball. So is football. But basketball even more so. And it seems to get more physical and more physical every year. So, you know, these players play for two, three years in this program. No wonder they do so well in Europe. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's like being in boot camp. I mean, I call Randy Ray's boot camp. He's, I mean, he's a tough, he's an X and O's tough-nosed guy. No wonder his players do so well after, and you know, he's a four-year guy. Hardy's been here all four years. I remember the first time he came as a freshman, I'm like, so. Back to Weaver's yeah, so, Now, another thing now, Weaver Height maybe made an interesting hire for assistant coach this year. Yeah. Pulling in uh, David Pope's, what I believe was David Pope's number one assistant yeah. in Utah BYU. Valley. Utah Valley. And all the other assistants went to Pope to, with Pope to BYU, except Eric Daniels. And Eric Daniels came here. And I think it's because I think he realizes that he has a shot at the head coaching job here after Randy Ray retires. Well, this is Randy's 14th or 15th year. 14, it doesn't matter. He's, they had I mean, sitting right there. That was Randy's first year. Yep, that they is. They went to the tournament. They ran into, speaking of uh, Pittsburgh, speaking of Weaver State, how about a guy named uh, 
Ben Howland. Oh yeah, Ben Howland. Uh, they run into him. Pit. And then at UCLA, and I'm not we were, sure. We got drilled by him down there. Oh, shoot. Dave, uh, ben Helen is still coaching, but I can't remember the school. I watched him on the NCAA tournament the other day, but I. We're so old, we watched him play in this building. I think it's Mississippi State where he coaches. By the way, we settled the argument on the D. <laughs> 1977. The you first... had the right game, wrong year. I had the right year, wrong game. <laughs> so we're both. We're both right and both wrong. No, we're both wrong. Ten to five. Well, we were both wrong on the air. So once Big Sky play gets going, we'll have the live stream up, and we'll be live streaming, and we'll get it rolling. You know, this is a work in progress. So they've got Fuller in the game now. Cody John for three. Rebound. Ken Davis chases it down. Nice. So Fuller's been impressive, I think. I think he's going to be the Cam big Davis, guy. Davis. Cam Davis has been pretty good. Harding, both hands with the right. There's a pass. Cody John for three. Like I said, Tim Fuller with the Harding. rebound. Another pass wide open. Uh, he got one. There's an assist hey, hey, for Harding. This time he got the assist. I like this. Now Harding, player, Harding, Harding made two passes. He's right, made I mean, two uh, passes this game that would have been assist had three, they been three. Well, he got the, the third one was. No, that was the fourth one. Oh, that fourth so, one was it. Judah Jordan three on getting that ready, set. and so, it's Israel Barnes getting ready. KJ Cunningham, in. he plays with a lot of. I like our, uh, the freshman. They have, uh, of course, Judah Jordan also, which are big time recruits. But this Cunningham kid plays with huge confidence going forward. I think Jordan, does. Jordan is. Randy claims he has more talent than any players ever had, but. He's young, and it's going to take him time. He doesn't, this Cunningham kid, he's, he's ready, ready now. He is. He plays with a tremendous amount of confidence for okay. an 18-year-old. Jerry Carding is uh, on the bench for a rest. Now, Cody this John. is important. Can they expand the lead with Harding on the bench? Well, Cody John, there we go. Israel Barnes. And no. Ricks. Boy, he's struggled shooting this year so far. He's a... And he... He hustles. He's a fighter, man. He's tough. I like his style of play, but... Hey, out of Kansas, with, it played in the same uh, AAU league as Jerry Carding. Uh, 13 to 7. Jordan to Cody John. They're playing a little more up-tempo than they have. They turn it over? No. no foul. foul, I think. Uh, so... As far as the big guys go, it's been four that's been the most impressive. I think he's going to have a big year. Well, I think he's going to have a big career here at Weber State. Yeah. He's a freshman. So, Davis. He's a red shirt point. freshman, but still yeah. a freshman. Right. Jordan. J Barnes. Is big guy now on the ball? Kick out to Cody. Got it. Cody with the three. You know, Cody John, his whole career here, and he's been here, seems like, forever. He's streaky. When he's on, look out. He'll put up 30. When he's not, he'll put up two. And he's been that way his whole career. He's a great player. He's been he's been an incredible player. Offensive foul? Offensive foul. Uh, Judah Jordan was the one that drew that, drew that offensive foul. Once he can get his poise about him, Judah Jordan, and get going. You see the way he handles get the ball. Get the confidence. You see his size. You see the way he moves and jumps. You can see why Randy's so high on him. Well, he's got the talent. Now, Judah's, uh, the difference right now between KJ Cunningham and Judah Jordan, they're both freshmen, both highly recruited. Cunningham right now has the confidence. Yeah, he does. Judah Jordan's still working on the confidence, but if Judah Jordan ever gets the confidence, watch out. Oh, you can see him five. I was in here watching practice one day, and he was about two and a half feet above. There he goes for three. Jordan, four Got three. it. We call it right on cue. Good job. You didn't jinx him this time, which, by the way, he's pretty good at doing that. You know why? Because he wouldn't have been lonely. Yeah, but so did you. No, I got kicked out. I claim Weber. I, I got kicked out of several high schools, but... Oh, beautiful block by Fuller oh, yeah. with the block. By the way, we're the official statisticians for Randy Ray. You do know that, so oh, you better yeah, be marking it. You better got that one. He's always hitting me up. Did your stats match their stats? 
so, so far. No, uh, Galupro just pat checked in, and somebody now, else. There's another player that has struggled mightily. They're at the inbound, they get the score. I think Fuller just got the basket. He is, Galupro, is he, he's a great shooter, and the shots just haven't been falling for him. You know, I've oh, seen no. him in practice knock down 15 in a row, but give and go, didn't go. Okay, that <laughs> that give was all now. give and no go. Fuller and Kozak are both in now. Kozak was the other one that checked in for the Wildcats along with uh, Again, Galupolo. Once Big Sky play starts, we'll have the live stream going. We'll have the link for you. It'll be interactive. You can comment. Now, football, we got shut down by the NCAA, which still... Oh, yeah, yeah that, was, that was uh bogus. It is bogus. You think I was mad, and I went off. You should have heard the Montana guy. He was well, late, he, came, late, he late, traveled late. all the way down from Missoula to do the game and couldn't do it. Oh, they were so <laughs> mad. I would have been, too. I would have been, too. That's the call here. 19 to 9. That was on Kozak just before the shot clock expired. I'll tell you what. It's going to be a thrill for one reason all season for me. Here's my mind. You watch the jump players. Oh, Fuller was the foul was on Fuller, not It's going to be a thrill to watch Jarek Hardy. I'm telling you, to watch him all season, what's real for basketball starts here, look out. Is all. I've been watching play here my whole life. I watched all these greats play here. I watched him ever, all of them evolve. I watched Damian Lillard from day one all the way. Everyone, I'm telling you, he's going to have that kind of a year. He was hurt early. Now that he's getting it together, he's got it all. He's developed that jump shot. 